Oh, hello, my lovely people. I'm back again after a short break. And as you can see, why? So, I decided to be a daredevil, jumped out of the back of a C-130, and the parachute didn't open on time, so I ended up breaking my foot as I landed. I'm lying, of course. I didn't jump out of a plane. I'm scared of heights. So, basically, I went to play tennis last Sunday, and I haven't played for two years since Corona lockdown. I think halfway through lockdown, they closed all the tennis courts and things. So I was really out of shape and I was feeling breathless and running around thinking, okay, this is my mission now. I'm going to get back into shape. I'm going to go to the gym this evening and fix my lazy body. Let's move these bottles out of the way. And guess what happened? I was running backwards and I twisted my foot sideways and I heard a crack and I was like, oh my God, I've broken my metatarsal. So I sat there with my friend for a while and uh, the pain was very intense. And then I thought maybe it's just a sprain that will go away, but it wouldn't. When I stood up, I knew there was a fracture, it was bad. So I hobbled back to the car. My friend put his bike in my car. Luckily I had taken the Range Rover, so it wasn't too bad. And then uh, we drove to the hospital. And then some fun stuff happened. I posted some Insta stories and I'll try to see if I can insert those clips in here. But he was just really taking the piss out of me and pushing me around the corridors in a wheelchair and uh, trying to open those doors with my broken foot. But it was fun and painful and he cheered me up so that was nice. And then uh, when I said that the doctor had a look at it and he was like, oh, so what happened? And I said, this is what happened. Because I was dressed nicely as I try to do. He said, oh, do you play professionally? <laughs> and I was thinking, do I look like a professional player? Uh, and I said, I've broken my fifth metatarsal. And he gave me that look like, oh, you've Googled it and you know nothing. And then he says, oh, we'll see once we get the x-rays. And when the x-ray came back, he looked at it and he said, you have broken your fifth metatarsal. Do you have some medical background? <laughs> I said, yes, I used to be an orthopedic surgeon and I worked in orthopedics. So I know when where it hurts and exactly what's happened so he said do you want to see the x-ray i'm like yes so i had a look at the x-ray it was quite bad i felt sorry for myself and back in my day which was what 22 maybe 22 23 years ago when i left medicine they would put you in a cast but now they give you this stupid shoe which is just like a velcroed cushion with a flat thing at the base and all you're supposed to do is just be able to walk with it when your foot is swollen but doesn't provide any support or anything and they gave me these crutches and said two weeks on crutches come back and see us and then another four weeks until it heals i was just preparing myself that okay i'm gonna go skiing this year so for six months I need to really get back into shape because last time, as you might recall, I was huffing and puffing and I was tired all the time. So I thought if I get myself into shape, I have six months. People usually get into shape for summer, I have a summer body. I don't care about that. I want to have a winter body so I can actually enjoy myself. So that's a little update of my life at the moment. So today is Thursday, this happened on Sunday and I'm making this video four or five days later because I was in a lot of pain. I was sitting on this sofa most of the time with two cushions and my feet up because uh, obviously it was swollen, it was very painful. But today is like the fourth day and the pain is a lot less. I'm taking very strong painkillers and uh, it's getting better I think. 
Going up and down the stairs is still very painful. If I put weight on it, it hurts. As long as I don't move, it's okay. So I decided that I should tell you guys my latest accomplishment of breaking my foot playing tennis. Uh, so I hope you're all well and enjoying this lovely summer. Uh, those in the UK will know that we have an amazing summer ongoing in progress. Uh, very, very hot and um, not too hot because I haven't switched on the air conditioning. So it's still okay with just normal fans, but it's still very hot. It's about 30 degrees roughly uh, from time to time, especially in London because it's, uh, it's got its own microclimate. And uh, yeah, don't know what else to say, but uh, I will try to make some more videos and uh, update you with my life soon. Thanks for watching. Until the next one.